By eliminating money and the separateness that it causes, could the world be saved by sharing the resources and the work and eliminating all the unnecessary waste of energy and needless competition and consumption? Well, I'm not sure how money could be eliminated. See, I'm a funny person. I vacillate between, I have a very strong impulse toward political action and save the world and round up the miscreants and set things right. That's part of my thing. But I also have this incredibly evolved sense that it's a done deal, that it's okay, that the main task is a certain alertness and attention to one's comrades, and that it will all unfold through the intercession of the transcendental object at the end of time. People say this is a contradiction. Fine, it's a contradiction. I mean, what are we doing here anyway? Is life supposed to be simple? Uh, so, but I, I preface that by saying, one time somebody in a group like this challenged me and said, you're always talking about the peril of the planet and one thing and another. Uh, why why don't you ask the mushroom how to save the planet? And I, so then I thought that was kind of a facetious and challenging thing to propose, but the next time I found myself capable of asking the question, I did. And the mushroom hesitated, and now I pass this on to you as pure fungal hearsay on the <laughs> networks. I said to the mushroom, so how can we save the world? And it hesitated roughly a third of a second and said every woman should bear only one natural child. I thought about this for a long time before I ever publicly mentioned it to anyone. And I realized, you see, I think that what is destroying us are two things. Number one, an uncontrolled rise in population that wipes out every good intention, every social program, every our expansion of agriculture succumbs to expanded population. This is destroying us. The other thing that is destroying us is that we are not properly utilizing uh, the intelligence, talent, and so forth of half of our population, the female half of the population. Now, people say <clears throat> that we must, you know, women must be promoted and to professional positions and power positions and, and of course this is true and I agree, but what is really holding women back is that they spend a staggering amount of their creative lifespan raising children. And uh, if every woman were to bear only one natural child, the population of the planet would fall by 50% in 40 years without wars, epidemic diseases. It would just naturally fall in half. Now, I don't think very many people have ever considered this possibility. We tend to think that our problems are insoluble. They are not insoluble. Furthermore, it turns out, and here's news nobody likes to hear, a woman who, a, a child born to a woman in Santa Cruz, compared to a child born to a woman in Bangladesh, that child will use between 800 and 1,000 times more resources than the Bangladeshi child in its lifetime. So where do we preach population control? the third world, because that's where all the people are. But that's not the problem. People are not the problem. Incredible consumption by some people is the problem. It would be possible to imagine a world where institu governmental institutions or whoever's running things could go to women and say, how would you like to have vastly increased leisure time how would you like to have an in increased expendable income? And how would you like to have genuine status as a hero in the struggle to save the planet? 
if women were to have only one natural child, women would very naturally come into an enormous empowerment. No one, no institution could deny it to them. Uh, and interestingly enough, this is not a plan where men, who have always been the planners and the managers of plans, play much of a role at all. Well, I just pass that off in case you don't want to put your trust in the transcendental object at the end of the world, then the most politically conscious thing, apparently from the mushroom's point of view, that you could do is uh, encourage those kinds of policies and that kind of attitude.